Hey everybody, Roger here from O'Reilly Auto Parts to show you how to change the oil and oil filter on a 2006 to 2011 Honda Civic Si. Before I get into that, take a second to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Today I'll be changing the oil and oil filter on this 2008 Civic Si and procedures will be similar for many cars of this model from 2006 to 2011, but be sure to know the specifics for your vehicle before getting started. If you're not completely comfortable doing this yourself, we'd be happy to recommend a professional technician in your area. Once you've got your supplies together, here's what you'll do. Park on a level surface and loosen the lug nuts on your front passenger side wheel, then jack up the front end. Remove the wheel on the front passenger side. This is where your oil filter will be located. Loosen and remove your oil fill cap. Put your drain pan in place under the drain plug. Use your 17 millimeter socket to loosen the drain plug, then remove it by hand. On this model, we'll put some shop towels over the CV boot to protect it from excess oil from the filter. Use your oil filter wrench to loosen the old oil filter and remove it. Lubricate the O-ring on the new filter with fresh oil. Install your new filter tightening clockwise 3 quarters of a turn or 8.7 foot-pounds. Clean your oil drain bolt and reinstall it, and tighten it to 29 foot-pounds. Fill your reservoir with 4.6 quarts of new oil. We'll be using synthetic oil, which isn't required, but is recommended. Reattach your wheel and finger tighten the lug nuts. Take your car off the jack stands and torque the lug nuts to 80 foot-pounds. Check the oil level with your dipstick. Add more oil if needed and replace your oil fill cap. Run your vehicle for three to five minutes, then check your oil level again and add more if needed. Check underneath your car for leaks, and if you don't see any, close your hood. To reset the oil life gauge inside the car, press and hold the select reset button till it begins to flash. Then release it and press it again till it resets. And that's it. You'll find everything you need for this and other jobs at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store or O'ReillyAuto.com. Our DIY videos are designed to help answer questions we get in our stores every day. So if you found this one helpful, subscribe to our channel to get all the latest. We'll see you again soon.